Hi, and welcome to the second episode in a special series here on The Grape List that we're calling Between Two Wines. Our first guest is a 2016 Portuguese red blend brought to us by the Quevedo family. It is 14.5% alcohol and coming to us from the Douro Valley region of Portugal. Our second guest is a 2016 California red wine, more or less a red blend, brought to us by the Cellar Crew. It is 13.8% alcohol and coming to us from the Sonoma region of California. So without further ado, let's get between these two wines. To the wine cam! First one we're trying is the Quevedo from the Quevedo family, the Portuguese red blend. <laughs> I just realized one's a California red blend, the other one's a Portuguese red blend. It's like Portuguese versus California. It's like my own France 1972. I'm gonna try letting this breathe. So while I let this wine breathe, let me tell you about the winery and the Douro Valley. They were actually founded in the late, late 1800s. It's currently run by a brother-sister combo and running out of the Douro Valley. There was really only one way to get wine out of that area and it was go through Porto in Portugal. But because Porto is so well known for its very sweet and very delicious port wines for the longest time, in order to get out of there, you had to be a port wine. So they were making port wines. It's only been recently that they have switched over to making a else besides port wines. I, I feel this probably would be better if it was sweeter, and I feel that, it, and I feel that whatever technique they're applying to this would probably work great for a port, but it does not work so well for a red blend. It's not bitter. I don't want to say it's bitter because it's not hitting that spot on the tongue. There's actually you have five zones on your tongue. Sweet, salt, last one being bitter. I was just like, look at it all the way in the back. But uh, yeah, it's not activating that, but it's pretty, it's pretty damn close. Let's see how this other wine shapes up. Cause I mean, this is a uh, between two wines for naked wines. Oh, I should have titled it that, between two naked wines. Next act bat, it's gonna be the 2016 Red Blend by Cellar Crew. Now first, wine, what do you smell like? Cherries. Yeah, cherries. Let's see what this tastes like now. This is a sweet red. This is what a sweet red tastes like. The Cellar Crew. The Cellar Crew. Sonoma Valley. We have a lot of wines from Sonoma Valley on this list, so I'm really not going to delve more into Sonoma. Uh, maybe a little bit more about the Cellar Crew. They are a band of firefighters. About three or four members in the group. It's almost like a boy band. Hashtag Menudo? No, that's wrong. Hashtag Battery Boys? No. Ah, uh, yes. Hashtag 98 Degrees. Yes. That was the band. Hashtag 98 Degrees. They initially started making wine to help benefit the forest fire victims in California. They are continuing to raise money for the relief and recovery efforts that are still ongoing in California. Back to the review. On the left, we have the Portuguese red blend, which is quite acidic, quite strong, quite tannin heavy, and probably uh, could do to be a bit more sweeter, uh, to be easier on the palate. Let me try it again now that it's a uh, I guess what? Bottle decanted? The acidity is a bit is lower by a bit, but it's still tannins aren't bad, but they're really rough. Even though tannins usually kind of uh, dry your mouth out. While on our right, we have the 2016 California red wine. It is brought to us by the Cellar Crew. It is a sweet red wine. Very smooth taste, cherry heavy notes. Um, it's not bad. But this wine definitely presents a better, uh, smoother taste, more pleasant feel, and uh, more inviting with its overall characteristics. So who's the winner in this edition of the Between Two Wines? Well, I really have to give it up to Cellar Crew. They really came through. Their sweeter California red wine beat out the Cuevedos, uh a bit too acidic and bitter Portuguese red blend. And as always, right-handed in life, left-handed in wine. Actually, I'm gonna add this on a side note. So I did a bit of research on both of these wines uh, and it seems that for 
more for the Portuguese red blend, it would benefit from aging. So this may be a one, this may be one of these wines that you have to purchase now. And if you have a seller, if you have the space for it, I mean, if that's your thing, let it uh, stay there for, and it says about five years. I don't know about you. I don't have um, a wine cellar. I wish I did. Man, life would be great at that point. But unfortunately, because I do not have a wine cellar, I can't recommend this for anybody who doesn't have a wine cellar. <laughs> also, if you like the episode, please be sure to like and subscribe below. Right down there, there's a little bell. Hit that. Hit the uh, old thumbs up checkeroo. Let me know if I'm doing well or bad. Leave some comments below, and I will see you next episode. And as always, right-handed in life, left-handed in wine. Cheers.